Turkey's strongman takes to the stage to a song lauding him as his nation's savior, to a tune which might have accompanied the first Turkish warriors trekking here from the steppes of Central Asia. Now aged 64, he's still Turkey's most dynamic leader since Ataturk almost a century ago. But this comparison with the country's founder does the true scale of his ambition a disservice. He talks of Sultan Mehmet the Conqueror, of the roads, the tunnels, the airports this populist potentate has given his people. His fan base is segregated between men and women, a newly affluent yet pious middle class, the new Turkey, which Erdogan belongs to and calls his own. For a stronger economy, for national defence, for a secure and wealthy country. Turkey, are we ready for this? Are we ready? The military helicopter overhead is for the president's security after a coup attempt two years ago. Since when Erdogan has ruled by emergency decree, his power never greater. His country is powerful and Recep Tayyip Erdogan is powerful as well. How long do you think Erdogan will be president? How long? How long? As long as he lives. As long as he lives? Yeah, yeah. People love all... him. People love him, love him and we continue to love him. Such is that love that these people are not sleepwalking into what looks like elected dictatorship. In fact, they're gagging for another 16 years. We wouldn't have this country without Erdogan, she says. We don't mind going hungry and thirsty for him. When I was a kid, we had no water or electricity. Now every house has two or three cars and people can afford to change their curtains. If you want to get a sense of the scale of President Erdogan's ambition and the ambition of his supporters, then have a look at this banner. It says the target is 2023. That's how long President Erdogan wants to stay in power. And 2023 is the 100th anniversary of the foundation of the Turkish Republic. And take a look at this hat. It says we are the grandchildren of the Ottomans. That's how these people and President Erdogan see themselves as the grandchildren of the Ottomans, the people who have restored Turkey to the greatness that existed before the Turkish Republic was even founded. It's a republic which has been rebuilt in Erdogan's image. I'm struck by the shimmering newness of this small town, Ordu on the Black Sea. Hicksville no longer, part of an economy which has doubled in size, yes doubled, in 16 years. Look, a new football stadium, just as the president promised, seating 20,000, one towns across Europe would have cause to envy. And out in the countryside, a land of mosques and mellow fruitfulness, what could be the slow death of a precious Muslim democracy doesn't seem a major concern. What worries them is a fall in the value of hazelnuts caused by the Turkish lira's recent collapse. Many economists blame the president, though this farmer prefers to believe a conspiracy theory, almost as old as these hills. It's the foreigners. It could be America. Maybe they are waging a war of attrition against us. Over 600 miles south, and we're in Antalya on the Turkish Mediterranean. This crowd, secular and unbuttoned, not a headscarf in sight. Their candidate, Muharrem Ince, is a genial former physics teacher. He isn't promising to make Turkey great again. Far from it, just trying to get it back to a normal parliamentary democracy. So tamam, or enough, of Erdogan. The president can't govern any longer, says a woman in a plunging ball gown. Something's gone very wrong. Something needs to change, says another. Turkey wants something new. It's possible all this is a figment of Turkey's democratic imagination. Mr. Ince struggles for live airtime, and most media outlets are under the president's indirect control. Though this man has galvanized the opposition as no one has before.
Sokaktaki bu değişim sandığa yansıyacak. Bunlar hiç kuşkunuz olmaz. Öyle mi? Kesinlikle. Sayın Erdoğan. Bu teri boşuna mı akıtıyorsun? Evet. Say, sayın Erdoğan hakkında ne düşünüyorsunuz? Erdoğan güzel bir emeklilik geçirecek. Benim Cumhurbaşkanlığım da rahat edecek. Güzel bir emeklilik. İnsan hakları büyük problem Türkiye şimdi. Hallederiz ufak iş onlar. Kısa sürede yargıyı bağımsız haline getireceğiz. Hukuk devleti olacak Türkiye. Fighting talk, though maybe Turkey's ship has sailed already. The Ottomans are back, making angry noises at the gates of Europe. And if you hadn't noticed, it's not just here that authoritarianism sells.